hello and welcome and this is a gift to you from the stronger together community to help you make the most of 2022 and in this video myself and other experienced altruistic business owners will share a top tip which will help you make the most of 2022 whatever uh, challenges we will face um, the tips in this video will help you get through those challenges so do watch to the end I promise you it will be worth it now then Simon here from perception studios so if I had one tip for you in 2022 it is obviously to do video however I also understand that not everybody wants to do video where they're on camera just like I am right now talking to you so I'm going to recommend a really great app to you until you overcome that fear of doing videos where you're on camera, check out this app. It's called Lumen5, L-U-M-E-N-5. What it does is really, really clever. It will look at the blogs that you write on a regular basis and the AI that sits in between it and the video that you're gonna create will actually look at your blog and choose what it thinks are the key points out of that blog and turn it into a video using stock footage. It's absolutely fantastic. Like I say, if you're not keen on being on camera yourself, take a look at it today. L-U-M-E-N-5, Lumen5. That's my tip for you in 2022, and hopefully you're gonna have an amazing year. One, here's my top tip for making 2022 a great year, and that is to be more opportunistic. Opportunity is everywhere, and we just need to be a bit more open-minded when we're engaging with others to uncover it. Now, I'm not saying that when we meet people or we communicate with people that we shouldn't have a purpose, but if we're so fixed on that purpose that we become closed-minded, then often we kind of miss what's really there. By being genuinely curious about the other person and their business and what's going on in the world, then often you'll find the really exciting and fun and purposeful opportunities arise, whether that's for you to add more value, whether that's for potential partnerships or collaborations, whatever it may be, that, that having an open mind and being curious is the key to an opportunistic mindset that will make 2022 an awesome year. Oh, and whatever you do, make sure you're having fun. Hi guys, thanks so much for having me as part of the Stronger Together community. It's been amazing meeting you all, and thank you, Julia, for organising. My top tip for 2022 is, before you create any marketing materials at all, have a think about what your customers are thinking, feeling and needing from you right now. Just walk a mile in their shoes. It'll improve the outcome. I hope you all have an amazing 2022 and it's as successful as you could possibly dream on a personal and business level. And my first tip for you is to prioritise you. Your business will thank you for that. So many business owners don't prioritise themselves and their businesses suffer because of it. So as a business owner, we are agile and creative. But to be successfully agile and creative, we need to be the best versions of ourselves. And that can be really hard when we're bombarded from all sorts of things um, that are going on out there. And of course, we can only control how we react to things. We can't control what um, comes into our space, if you like. So... We need to be the best versions of ourselves. So do think about your emotional health as well as your physical health um, and invest time and energy into both of those. Take the time out that you need um, during the day even. Um, I meditate during the day. Um, other people do other things just to um, help them be the best versions of themselves as they can as they work through the day. Think about how your week is structured. Do you need to take breaks? Think about how your, the month is structured. Think about the year how that's structured. Do whatever you need to do, uh, but particularly on a daily basis, just to really help yourself because your business will thank you for it. Whatever time and energy you invest in yourself will pay dividends and it, you will see those dividends in your business as well. Um, because the bottom line it is also that if we are unable to function ourselves, um, then our business is gonna struggle um, to function as well and to keep going, um, especially in medium to long term. So do invest time in yourself, prioritize you.
Hi, Jules Swift here from Bigger Brighter Boulder, and here's my number one tip for 2022. Get goal setting. I don't know if you're a seasoned goal setter, whether you tried it once, the past failed miserably, and found the whole thing thoroughly disappointing, or if this might be the first year you're considering setting goals. What you do need to know is that goal setting is the number one thing that successful people do. And because of that, we need to be doing it as well. However, not all goals are equal. You need to make sure that your goal has a deadline. So working to the year is absolutely perfect. If we make sure that the goals we're working to in 2022 take us and lead us and are aligned with our long-term objectives, our visions, even our dreams, then we know that if we hit our goals over the next 12 months, then we will be on track for achieving those long-term objectives. Number two, it needs to be under our direct influence. If your goal requires the input of a lot of different people, or it requires things to happen in the world around you in order for that goal to be made possible, then actually we're secretly kind of hoping and wishing, we might even be wanting this goal to happen, but we're not necessarily empowered to be able to go out there and actually make it happen for ourselves. And number three, it needs to be measurable, it needs to be tangible. If we can't measure our goal, how do we know we've achieved it? If you don't know where you're going, how can you possibly know you've got there? Also, of course, we need to know where we are in the current journey of that goal so that we know that we're on track. And if not on track, that we can adjust our tactics and strategies to pull ourselves back on track so that we can achieve that goal. However, even if you set perfect goals, your chances of success at goals is actually still really disappointingly low. In fact, the American Institute of Research and Education did a review on this and they showed that even if you set perfect goals and you have a plan for achieving those goals, your chances of success are still only 50-50 of actually achieving those overall goals. So if there was a magic pill in goal setting, it would be commitment and accountability. If you've got people out there that you can commit to with your goals and more importantly, be brave enough to allow them to hold you accountable to achieving those goals, now your chance of success goes up to 95%. So number one, you've got to set perfect goals. Number two, you've got to have a plan, a strategy and tactics for how to achieve those goals. You're still only on a toss of a coin, 50-50 that you're going to achieve that goal. You then need to commit to other people and be brave enough to allow them to hold you accountable. Make 2022 the year that really counts by getting super effective and focused on your goals. They're going to get you the result that you want. My next tip can be applied to anything, really. Um, anything um, that is perhaps blocking you from moving forward um, in business or um, in uh, your personal life um, or any component of your business. And it's four R's, okay? It's the first R is reflect. So think back on the previous financial period, for example, the previous course, the previous month, the previous week. Think back and have um, a real um, period of reflection, what went well, what didn't go well. And then revisit those things that went well or didn't go well. Write down, make a note of the things that went well so that you can um, take more of that forward and write down the things that didn't go quite so well so that you can uh, tweak and change those. And the next R is to revisit. So actually revisit the um, specifics of what uh, didn't go well. And then review, have a time out review uh, those components and then the fourth r is refresh as um i've already said in one of my um, other tips we are very agile as business owners so we have the ability to refresh and make changes to things that we need to so the four r's are really really key here reflect revisit review and refresh and you can apply that to all sorts of areas in your business or your whole business been in sales for 34 years and um, started in KP as a sales rep and I moved through United Pacific into management roles and I had this prototype of sales and it was quite pushy, it was quite directive, it was quite male. I used to wear pinstripe trouser suits and great big shoulder pads and high heels, sort of try to put myself into that box and you know um somehow it didn't connect for me and I got some feedback one day about that said that I was too pushy and I was absolutely mortified so I was a bit of a wake-up call for me and I did a lot of work on my self-awareness I got a lot of feedback and I just started to be more me and tell my own story 
Um, and I learned that art of storytelling then and gradually over the years it's developed for me. A lot of times we call them testimonial stories, but there are so many other stories that we can also tell about ourselves, about our colleagues, about our customers, about our successes, and also about the company, you know, where, where you came from. And now's the time to do that. I've the last 18 months has been so powerful. I think it's probably the most powerful tool that we've used. Um, now I've got a template. I'm using it now. Storytelling template to tell this story. And it just works. If you want one, let me know. Email me and I'll send it to you and give it a go. Because for me, it is the most, the most authentic way to sell anything at all um, as business owners. So listen, have a man magical Christmas and I'll hopefully see you soon. Here's my top tip for making 2022 a great year for your business when it comes to content writing. Um, and it simply has to be authenticity. Um, there's lots of different tips I could share, but the thing that underpins everything is really to be yourself, um, to be true to you and your business, and then you will attract the right clients, the right tribe. Um, and so always um, authenticity in everything that you post. Okay, hope that helps. And my next tip is something that um, other uh, business owners on this video have, have touched on, but it's to really know and understand your ideal clients. Without that, we are sort of almost lost at sea in our businesses. We can go off on different tangents that aren't appropriate, but when you know and understand your ideal client and then you have an ideal client avatar and you really understand what the pains are of that um, ideal client and the pains of the ideal client avatar, then you can address those pains and you can set your business up in a way that communicates and um, does outreach to the ideal client knowing who your ideal client is and really having a handle on their pains and those pains will change this is something to do on a fairly frequent basis is to to, to revisit this you can address the pain so that um, helps you with your marketing um, when you understand who your ideal client is then that helps you with your systems and your processes um, and in in essence it will undoubtedly help you increase your revenue and decrease your costs because you're communicating with the right people at the right time in a way that they want to be communicated with and you are helping them solve an issue or a pain that they have it's absolutely key so many things hang off of this within a business um, do take some time out and uh, revisit if you already have an understanding of who your ideal client is revisit that um, because things are changing for us and things are changing for our ideal clients as well. So do spend some time doing that. It, it really will pay off. Here's my top tip for making 2022 a great year. It comes in two parts. Part one, get help. I repeat, get help. In 2020, between the months of March and September, we experienced five years of evolution in the business landscape, and that momentum has not stopped. What that means as business owners is we are trying to navigate a, an ever-changing, rapidly moving environment and landscape in order to grow our businesses. It has never been more important or more beneficial to leverage the skills, resources, knowledge and support of other business owners and mentors than it is right now. Don't make running a business harder on yourself than it needs to be by trying to do it on your own when there are plenty of people out there who can help you. Now that leads me on to part two, be discerning. Please, please do your due diligence when you are looking for business clubs or business coaches. They are not all equal. You must do your due diligence. You must make sure that the person that you are looking to work with has the experience in your market, understands what it is that you're trying to do and can offer you the expertise and support that you really need. Please make sure that you do the work to find that out before you commit time, money and energy. Thanks. And my last tip for you to really um, help you uh, make the most of 2022 is something that can be applied to the uh, communication we put out on um, in our marketing on social media. It can also be applied 
to uh, conversations that we have, face-to-face -face networking, one-to-one -one, um, meetings, workshops, all sorts of things. It can be applied in so many places. And that is to always be consistent, to be visible, to be authentic, and ultimately to always add value. My top tip to help make 2022 a really great year is to take a little time out to check your email configuration. You've probably invested a lot of time and money creating content and configuring a CRM and an email marketing platform to help build your email lists. These are the lists your business relies on to communicate with customers and future customers, keeping them informed of all the exciting things you're doing to help other businesses or customers just like them. How would you feel if those emails were never seen? If you haven't added those CRM and email systems to the list of servers that are approved to send from your email domain, that may be exactly what is happening. All your best intentions thwarted by email spam filters. To address the increasing levels of spam, the big email providers are now applying tighter and tighter filtering policies, which look at these approved to send servers and addresses to decide whether to accept or reject emails that we send. What most people don't know is that most emails marked as spam never even make it to the recipient's spam folder. They're simply filtered out before any attempt to deliver. That's why configuring your DNS records appropriately is so important. But don't worry, if all that is double dutch to you, just give me a shout and I'll help point you in the right direction. Don't let your important messages end up in spam or worse still, never even making it to the spam folder. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you have found the 12 tips that uh, we've all shared of use. Um, it will remain on YouTube, so you can pop back and see it if you need to have a recap. But we all want to wish you the very best for 2022. Thank you for watching.